Hello, fellow fantasy novel lovers. I finished um, Beyond Forsaken Worlds um, and I really liked it. There was so much love about it. it, it to be honest, I used to love sci-fi. I have not read a sci-fi in many, many years. So I was really happy to get back into it. So I have not got a modern book to compare it to, but imagine like the Lower Decks meets Firefly but the movie version, which I still call Firefly because, you know, I'm sorry, it's Firefly. Um, but yeah, there are really great characters. Oh, with Spice. Really fun spicy scenes. Um, but they, they discover that somebody thinks that there's some weird stuff going on in the galaxy and then they have to go and find out. But the worst part, I don't know if I should tell you if you want to avoid, like, Minor spoilers, look away now, but it's not really a spoiler. But just in case, if you don't like any kind of spoilers, Zan's little, uh, little pet, K kill it? Is that how you pronounce it? I don't know. Alexa pronounced it chilling. <laughs> just think chilling what? Um, but anyway, he's got this little pet that he's had since he was taken from his home world, like, which was Earth, like, however long ago. Kind of give me Guardians of the Galaxy vibes. Um, uh, but then obviously he's older now, but he's still kept this pet that looks after him, protected him. This is at the very beginning, so this is not a spoiler, but when they take his pet and use his pet to get him to do some, <sighs> the rage I felt on behalf of Zan and them taking his pet. <gasps> It hurts. It hurts. Um, also, Juniper, awesome character. She's so, she has this exo hand. There are suggestions about the fun stuff she can do with that exo hand. I have been told by the author that we will find out more on that. I hope so. Um, and Lillian, oh, she's just. Um, Liliana. She's just an absolute darling. Um, also, you know, she just comes into herself in this book and I just love seeing that kind of character growth. I love the idea of having, like, you've got a character that knows what she wants for herself, takes no shit, and then you've got another character that is learning to do that. So we've got this balance of, of everything, obviously. Zan is great. Zan's amazing. I, like, He's just always doing the right thing, but sometimes he just scolds himself. But I love it. I love this book. 